going on everyone i know it's been nine years and it would make more sense to leave it for next year but because i saw this movie again and again and i have it on dvd i had to talk about it and that movie is called the grand budapest hotel it's directed written and co-produced by wes anderson it's one of my favorite films of 2014 and boy this film is just amazing flat out amazing this is an entertaining movie this movie proves just how good wes anderson is as a director i love the directing the writing the cinematography production designing and the color palette in this movie is just breathtaking so uh, what a good movie the movie is set in the 1930s the grand budapest hotel is a popular European ski resort. Gustave and Zero become friends. Gustave provides first class service to the hotel's guests, including satisfying the sexual needs of the many elderly women who stay there. Ralph Finesse, who's the leading actor in this movie, he is known for his dramatic roles, such as Schrinder's List and The English Patient, but in this movie, you get to see a whole different side of him. You get to see more comedic elements of him. And the Grand Budapest Hotel is both comedy and drama, but you get to see more of his versatility in this movie. He is one of the best actors in Hollywood, and he just brought it. He brought his A-game. It's an all-around solid performance by the cast. Um, William Dafoe is in this movie. Um, Bill Murray made an appearance in this movie. This movie, it's a cinematic masterpiece. Wes Anderson killed it. It's probably my favorite Wes Anderson movie that he's ever done, but he is someone, he's one of those directors that you should watch all of his movies because he is that good. He is that talented in his craft. Um, so the Grand Budapest Hotel, I will say this, it makes you feel three different emotions in my opinion. It's sad, it's funny, and it's heartwarming. When you have those three things, it is very rare that the movie will come out bad. But this movie is great. Not good, but great. From one through five, I'll give it a 4.8 out of five stars. If you haven't seen The Grand Budapest Hotel, you should watch it. It's on HBO Max. If you own it, great. I fortunately own the movie. Um, I have it on DVD and I have HBO Max. So, um, and now that I talk about it, I think I'm gonna watch it again and again and again, because if you're a filmmaker like myself, this is one of those movies that you have to study. It's one of those films in the 21st century that you have to watch over, over and over and again. Um, you could watch it in silent to study the images the cinematic shots and you can also watch it you know with audio you listen to the dialogue and everything else so grand budapest hotel check it out thank you for watching this video hit that thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always be safe and may god bless you all